We go on now to our GMA cover story, Saturday Night Live's Pete Davidson sharing a candid message about his mental health battle and the bullying he's facing following his split with Ariana Grande. Ariel Reshev has that story for us. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Robin. Good morning, everyone. Pete Davidson's sense of humor has made him a fixture on SNL, but in that revealing Instagram post, he says the harassment he sustained over the past few months has been far from funny. It's been a roller coaster year for comedian Pete Davidson. Now, in an emotional Instagram post, the Saturday Night Live star opening up about personal attacks and his struggles with mental health, writing, I've kept my mouth shut, never mentioned any names, never said a word about anyone or anything. I've been getting online bullied and in public by people for nine months. The 25-year-old very candid about living with borderline personality disorder. I've spoken about BPD and being suicidal publicly, only in hopes that this will bring awareness and help kids like myself who don't want to be on this earth. Somebody with borderline personality disorder will be especially vulnerable because they are so sensitive and so convinced that people don't like them. Davidson going on to say, I'm trying to understand how when something happens to a guy, the whole entire world just trashes him without any facts or frame of reference. His five-month whirlwind romance to pop star Ariana Grande ending in a broken engagement back in October. Davidson later addressing the split on SNL in November. I know some of you are curious about the breakup, but the truth is it's nobody's business and sometimes things just don't work out and that's okay. Ariana showing nothing but respect for her ex in her latest single, Thank You Next. In his post, Pete shutting down the online trolls, promising his fans, no matter how hard the internet or anyone tries to make me kill myself, I won't. He's been public and open about his diagnosis, and it is courageous of him and extremely important. It is courageous indeed. And Davidson also thanked those who have defended him, writing, I see you and I love you. At last check this morning, his post had more than 800,000 likes and a flood of positive comments. It really just proves words matter, words can hurt. Yes. Always do. Yeah, Thank you, Ariel. Good to see that support. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.